Davoud Rostai was born in 1959 in a small town in the Iranian desert named Sarab. Translated into English, Sarab means mirage. Davoud was born on the borderline between the visible and the invisible world, between this and the other world, between Orient and Occident. As a young man, he became active in the Iranian revolution, but his joy of freedom was very short. The Khomeini regime arrested him and imprisoned him for two years. In 1984, he was able to flee the country and to get asylum in Germany. He continued his art studies and got to know his first Western role model, Salvador Dali. Davoud's first paintings are surrealistic attempts to alienate reality and to suspend the border between dream and everyday life. Like Dali, Davoud likes to play with different disguises and parts. He dresses as a bullfighter. He becomes a wrestler. He goes on stage as a singer and a bard, or he wears the robes of a Sufi asked. Davoud Rastai is a fighter and a seeker. He is searching for a new dimension within his painting. He wants to bring forward his insights into the other realities to the canvas. For several weeks, he wrestles with himself. He is under pressure, but suddenly his creative energies get free. During an ecstasy of creative genius, he accomplishes his first crypto-realistic picture called Arena. Here is the bullfighter again, reborn as an artist. His new arena is the battlefield of art. Crypto-realism is not a new style. It is not a new vogue, and it is not a new direction. Crypto-realism is a new method of making the invisible visible, of combining physical and metaphysical dimensions and to overlay different layers of significance one upon another. Davoud no longer uses brushes or pencils. Like a matador, he relies on the concentrated energy of his arms, hands and fingers. The crypto-realistic method was developed during the revolutionary period of glasnost and perestroika. Davoud foresaw the collapse of world communism and anticipated the fall of the Berlin Wall and the German reunification in a series of crypto-realistic visions. The aperture of the Brandenburger Tor opens the view into a new world of peace and hope. But the painter is not blind to the dangers of human self-destruction. Several warning pictures brandmark the catastrophe of Chernobyl and the perils of the atomic armament race. The picture of a starving child in Africa belongs to his most touching ouvres. At once we understand, this is our own child, and we are ourselves responsible for his hunger. Davoud portrays famous contemporaries like Genscher, the architects of German unity, like the Clintons, like the Princess of Monaco or Lady Di, but his portraits are not always flattering. They are reflected images of the age but also of the transitoriness of all human ambitions and endeavors. But there are also some positive counterparts, like the present Pope or the Pakistani Sufi singer, Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan. But Davoud turns much more credence to the philosophers, poets, and prophets who taught the fundaments of humanism to the whole of mankind. From the German philosophers Nietzsche, Hegel, and Kant, he went back to the trinity of the Greek masters, Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle. When he portrayed Plato like a mystical saint on golden ground, he admixed real Greek soil to his color. Davoud Rostai is the only present artist of international reputation who puts religious questions into the center of his creative urge. He jumps across all denominational limits. As the first painter of the art history, he figures the mystical unity and variety of the world religions. Like Chagall, Davoud Rostai is a dancer and interpreter of dreams, a border crosser between heaven and earth, a crypto-realistic messenger out of the land of promise.